同學，今次我們將會學習 Review of Tenses in Writing Elective Topics One Concept Review of Tenses in Writing Elective Topics One。當書集 Short Story Narrative 題，用什麼時態的寫作任務嗎 ？Notice the use of past perfect tense in the following examples. Task One: Writing Task Topic. Your creative writing teacher has given your class the following task and would like you to use it to write a short story. The story will be displayed at school during Fiction Week. Topic: A global natural disaster killed a third of the world's population five years ago. Write a story describing the changes in Hong Kong since the disaster and how you feel about them. Genre: Short story. Theme: A global natural disaster. Tenses to be used: Past tense. Past perfect tense, past perfect continuous tense, past continuous tense, future tense, and present tense for the feelings. The break fun. The tsunami came barreling into Victoria Harbour. Run, get your higher ground. My mum and I shouted at people in the path of the monstrous wave, but it was too late, and many of them were swept out to sea. I cried out in the dark and realized that my lightning nightmare had woken me up again. Five years have passed now, but I am still struggling to come to terms with the Great Flood. Although many of us were concerned about global warming back then, none of us expected the massive ice shelves in the Arctic and Antarctic to suddenly crash in the world's oceans at the same time, causing both towering tsunamis and a gigantic rise in the sea level worldwide. More traumatic than this unforeseen natural disaster, though, was the unpleasant. Death toll of over two billion that it caused globally. Hong Kong, like all coastal cities, was hit hard, since the loss of life along the world's coastlines was far greater than it was inland. Thinking about everyone who perished, it still takes all my resolve not to cry. Hong Kong is definitely much less crowded now, and even quieter, with many of the city's survivors having lost at least one family member in this catastrophe. Also, since the disaster occurred a little before one o'clock on working day here, most of the victims were working mothers and fathers. A truly terrible blow for their families. We lost my close friends still mourning for, and trying to get past the loss of their loved ones. I sympathize deeply with them, and can only thank my lucky stars that my mum and dad miraculously survived. Another unbelievable event of the big flood is Hong Kong's new coastline. The sea level having risen over five meters by the time the waters have finally settled, both of Kowloon Central and the city's other low-lying areas are now underwater. Even today, it is surreal to see all our skyscrapers rising up from the sea of water. The government here has finally approved an ambitious plan to build a wall along Hong Kong's original coastline and pump out all the excess water. So hopefully, one day soon. We will all be able to get back to life as we remember it. While we all try to find a way to persevere with life after the big flood, though, will we really learn from our mistakes? I can only hope so. Note: Learn the use of a wide range of sentence structures. For example, with the sea level having risen over five meters by the time the waters have finally settled, most of Kowloon Central and the city's other low-lying areas are now underwater. Vocabulary is why appropriate, with some use of more sophisticated language. For example, unprecedented death toll, famous lucky stars, surreal. For example, a tsunami comes barreling into Victoria Harbour. Organization, in the five paragraphs, what can you learn about the links between them? An opening paragraph, setting the scene of the story. Four body paragraphs, giving details of deaths and describing changes in Hong Kong. As a result of the natural disaster, and the closing paragraph is placing hope for the future. Task two, writing task. You are a writer for a school newspaper. The newspaper is having a short story competition based on the theme, the importance of plans. You have been asked to write a leaflet that promotes the short story competition. Write the leaflet introducing the competition, saying what the rules of the competition are, why students should enter the competition. And how they can provide their entries. Topic, genre, a leaflet, theme to promote the short story competition. Tenses to be used. Present tense, present perfect tense, 
future tense. And the school newspaper short story competition and win. The school newspaper is having a short story competition this year on the theme, The Importance of Plans. The short story competition, if it is judged by panel or teachers, only has three simple rules. First, every entry must be original. In other words, you mustn't copy someone else's work and pretend that it is yours. Second, the short story mustn't be longer than 2,000 words. After all, it's a competition for short stories. Finally, the deadline for entries is 31st of March. Any entries that are received afterwards won't be included in the competition, so don't be late. Why everyone should enter this short story competition? The theme of this competition is extremely easy. Unlike other short story competitions, this one doesn't require research. You can just use your past experiences to help you. For example, you can start by asking yourself a few simple questions, such as, what is the most important thing that a friend has done for me? And how do I feel about my friends because of his or her help? You can then build on your memories to create your short story. The competition allows you to say a very special thank you. Although you may have thanked your friends for the help that he or she gave you in the past, this short story competition allows you to thank him or her in a very special way. After all, you are putting in the effort to write a story about the help that you received. Plus, if you are one of the winners, other people will be able to read about how thoughtful your friends truly is in a special edition of the school newspaper. The number of exciting prizes are on offer for the best short stories. The really great thing about this short story competition is that there are so many prizes. In fact, there are 10 prizes altogether, and they include the following. One grand prize. The writer of the best short story will receive a 1,000 Hong Kong dollars gift certificate from Top Books, which is definitely the best bookshop in Hong Kong. Nine runner of prizes. The writers of the other short stories that finish in the top 10 will yet receive a 200 Hong Kong dollars gift certificate from Top Books. So what are you waiting for? Drop your entry at the school newspaper office from PO1 today. Task 3. Writing tasks. You are a reporter for the school magazine. You recently attended some events at the Hong Kong Book Fair. Your favorite one was a talk by three different authors on what makes a good short story. You are now writing an article about the event, explaining why you find it interesting and what you learned. Genre, an article. Theme, reporting a talk by three different authors on what makes a good short story. Tenses to be used. Past tense. Present perfect tense, present tense. Idle always value of writing. You say heading, so that someone told you your beauty. Heading, you should learn cup yang. We do not know if we could write another book of joy. Said three prolific writers have talked on writing, giving at the Hong Kong Book Fair on 21st of July 2011. I only write when I am inspired. Unfortunately, my inspiration decreases their once a age said Mr. I. Kong, a young 77-year-old science fiction writer. Everything I wanted to say about writing good short stories I said in my science fiction, but you may not hear anything worthy on this subject from me today, said Mr. I. humorously, but immediately added that truth is a matter of imagination in science fiction, and the short science fiction story often contains touching details of a small event with an expected ending. We are wise aspiring writers to live voraciously to stress their imagination and to drop down whatever novel ideas that come to their mind. Another speaker of the event is Amy Chung, a popular romance writer. We are human, and romance almost the easier thing in the world to write about, since both authors and writers have had some experience of it, said Amy. Always write your short stories from the heart not from some notion about what you think your readers want. The market is fickle, and you've been dead. The heart is internal, but you have dead, said Chen. Chen concurred with I that the beginning, middle, and end of a short story should involve one rather than several events. She advised the audience to use every word carefully and as any word if it is unnecessary. Short story language should be more deliberate than powerful and all events should be condensed into terse language, according to Chen. 
Meanwhile, young writer Yang Yang suggested that the qualities of good short stories are interesting plot, and use of yet relevant setting, excellent characterization. He opined that the plot of a short story should not be made so big as to become imaginable. He also advised novice writers to write short stories in the first person at the beginning, as a first person narrator can give a sense of directness and intimacy. The talk is interesting in that the three writers' speakers talk about the qualities of good short stories from three different perspectives. I can emphasize inspiration and imagination. Amy Chen focused on language. Yan Yan drew the audience's attention with novel writing techniques. Nevertheless, all three of them concur that short stories should focus on one event or manageable plot. I have also learned from the talk that writing good short stories involves lots of hard work. This may be why the three successful writers said they were not sure if they could write another book joyfully. Meeting or heading, cooling. Now, do the exercise to test yourself by exercise and suggest a plot. Complete the following by writing a good outline of the story. If you can write the whole story, ask your tutor to run it for you. You are entering the detective story competition and will be given the following situation. Jewels disappear and explode. 